Hello and welcome back to Poem with Purpose. This is Dr. Diana here and I am here to talk about the Medela Sonata. So I want to get my full disclaimers and full disclosures out up front. I am not an affiliate of Medela. I also want to let you know that I purchased this product myself. If you are interested in it, you can also check it out on my Amazon storefront under Breast Pump. So let's jump right in. You know on all of my reviews, I talk through how to assemble the pump. I talk through the operation of the pump and I talk through my initial thoughts on the pump. So I'm going to show you all the things I have one um, part assembled and another part that's not assembled. So I want to give you a tip here if you ever want a single pump I always like to point this out. This piece here there's a part in the middle then you can plug it in to only use it for single pumping. So I want to show you exactly what it looks like because some people, you know, I love in my videos to assemble the pump. I get so many messages thanking me on doing so because it's just not always as intuitive even with the manual. So just wanted to show you that quick tip. Okay, so let's talk through all the parts. And so I want to first show you the flange connector that I want to point out a couple things. This can come apart. So if you did not know, you really want to make sure that, you know, you can pull it apart when you go to wash it. I will say there's a piece here in the middle um, that looks like this that is there as well. So you just pop it in here and, and it shows you exactly where it, it aligns perfectly and you pop it in. You'll take the flange. I'm using the 21 in this, put this on the membrane for the backflow protector here you pop it inside and then this piece and you can tell how it aligns this will go towards the front and then the piece in the back for the tubing goes towards the back and you pop it inside you'll hear it click so just to pop it off you'll hear it click and to pop it on your you will hear it click um, again and this is the bottle so I want to let you know that this pump also came with came with a bag, a carrier bag for this. It also came with the cooler bag as well. Um, I don't have this pictured here. If you know that I collect different parts that I'm not using um, to give away as people, as, as I start to venture out in these pumping streets, I just always keep things back that I know that I'm not going to use um, and make sure to help others when that time comes if I'm ever doing or out at vending or trade shows or other type of in-person events, I have things with me. So yes, let's get ready to talk about it. So then and the tubing just sticks in the back here. So this is how to assemble it. This is what it all looks like. I also want to mention to carry it. You can pick it up like this. There's a little area in the back for your hand. So you definitely can carry it as well. I want to also point out that this is a rechargeable pump. I was pleasantly surprised um, that this is rechargeable, but it is rechargeable. So I was like, yes, um, I purchased different things just because I have clients that'll pull up with pumping with pumps <laughs> or any type of pumping product when I don't own it and I know that I see it quite often, I want to get my hands on it. So this was a pump. The reason that I invested it in, in it and purchased it myself was because I wanted to make sure that I'm able to talk to clients about it. And so the tubing, I forgot to mention the tubing hole goes here to charge it. It's a spot here. And then to turn it on, it's there and it's it's quiet it's pretty quiet too um so let's talk through this pump and the features on the pump so that's the next part um to talk through so there's the make sure i get this right there's a play button to start it up this is um the sound so you can mute the sound so you don't hear yourself press the, the buttons pressing as well there is the button that goes from let down to expression there are two different wavelength options it's called rhythm selection um i want to make sure i'm, I'm seeing telling you the terms that i would um that you're going to see in the manual so it's called the rhythm selection um and so the plus and minus is it's here as well the timer um is here i have it silenced right now it shows me the charge which is fully charged and so i'm going to turn this on by pressing the play button here there we go and that's it this is the 
it's going you'll see the timer you see that it starts on the vacuum too it's on the first wavelength so there are two different wavelengths um you can change the wavelength button get a little closer you can change the wavelength button here the um, button to go from expression to let down is here so that is and then at the bottom you can see that it's on the second option so you can turn it down if you need to to level one so i will let you hear the first wavelength it's it's another wavelength as well um, but this is the first wavelength one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so that's ten I'm turning it back down to one um, so then it switches remember that about um, it it can switch um, for you as well but this is the faster side then if I want to change it over to expression from letdown you can press the button you'll see it change I'll show it a little closer here so this button at the top it'll show it here and then when you change it to the expression that slows it down it'll bring the milk drops to the bottom and so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and this is again on the first wavelength um, I will pause it so you can also pause it as well and it'll keep your time where it is so it's paused um, so that's the first wavelength the second one let's see if I can I'll let the second one play all right let's see Let me, so, so I'll go down from 10 um, since I was already at 10 so 10 9 8 seven six five four three two one so that's the second wavelength on the letdown side so now i'll let you hear the second wavelength on the expression side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay I'll pause it again so that's the pump itself um, that's how to operate it it goes through two wavelengths so one um, so on average is about 40 settings all together so you'll get 10 on expression 10 on letdown in one wavelength so that's 20 and then 10 on the second wavelength you'll get 10 on um, the letdown and 10 on the expression so that's another 20 so you get about 40 total settings um, that you can choose from but it's not um, you, it's only it's two wavelengths that you can choose some from so so from four cycles um, but they, they change as you change it um, in the vacuum strength if that makes sense so I just want to share with you a little bit about the pump um, and let's go through my initial thoughts so a couple of things um, I see that a lot of people were pulling up as clients with this pump so it was really really important for me to have this pump in my arsenal so um, there's no secret the the pump out of the Medela pumps I've tried, this is um, a pleasant surprise, I will say. the You have to know what you like and don't like. And I know that sometimes people may not know. Um, so in general, the short, it, the shorter burst, um, it's, it's hard to describe the feeling. Um, there's nothing wrong with the pump i want to say like i am always very balanced i really try to be balanced in my approach um but i know what works well for me and i know it doesn't work well for me and that's what i'm trying to change with each family that pulls up at pump with purpose to kind of get to know your body so you know exactly what you like and exactly what you don't like so i know what exactly what i like and exactly what i don't like when i start to use a pump um so you'll tell um but i try to be very balanced and keep to the features um but i know like pumps that i would use on my, <laughs> my pumping journey and i know pumps that i would not use on my pumping journey but that is putting me in there and i know people can be very successful at any pump um because if you like certain things based on your body um so the pump pump is um it's it's overall um it it didn't um 
overstimulate me of like oh, in any it, it it was much better than any of the others. But again, you know, I'm telling you that from my perspective, um, I see why clients tend to do, um, some can do really, really well with this pump um, because it's, it's definitely a little bit different in um, how it feels and it's not as aggressive um, in general, depending on your body. Um, know that strong or, a, Saying the words a strong pump or saying the words a gentle pump or weak pump is all relative. So it's really not good to be in a pump that's too strong for your body. And it's really not good to be in a pump that's too gentle for your body. So I know that when I'm giving my reviews, they are based on me. And so that's why it's going to be so important to work with someone that can help you to understand pumps based on your body. And so um, this pump wasn't too strong or too weak for me. Um, I could go up at a decent level, um, versus some of the other Medela pumps that I've tried. So, um, out of them, like I was pleasantly surprised. Um, but again, I know what pumps are for me and what pumps would not be for me. Um, so I definitely try to keep my reviews balanced in here. Um, so it has a couple different wavelengths, um, to choose from two on each side, which most of the other, Medela pumps do not have, um, and then the the different the one through ten. Um, I definitely was able to function through them in a decent way that it wasn't um, too different for me. But I will say, for my body, the rhythmic flow of it is um, not. It's, it's, it's my body. <laughs> and I know that, you know, you want to know my initial thoughts um, on the pump. So um, like I said, I was pleasantly surprised with it, but I know what pumps are for me and what pumps are not for me. So I try not to put my take on it in too many ways. So if you have this pump, um, it definitely has more features on it. Um, it goes up to 40 different settings as two different um, wavelength options, which is a good thing to have. It has a timer. It's rechargeable. Um, it's this it's definitely um, you can silence the button so it's not too loud. Um, so it does have some some features on it that are different um, and correctable and some of the other um, Medela pumps that you don't find. And so I do like that about this pump option. And I do not regret getting it to have it in my arsenal. Um, so I, I can say that. Um, but I know it's for me and what's not for me. So I definitely, if you own this pump or interested in it, it definitely has some features that's different from the other Medela pumps if, um, in a good way, if you are looking for a different um, Medela option. I, it's definitely um, has some things that are better in it than um, some of the others, like the timers and um, all of that. It's just the wavelength can be very different as in someone could really like the wavelength or not and that's with any pump and that's what I want to normalize is trying to figure out what your body may or may not like um, ahead of time before so I wanted to get my full disclaimers and full disclosures out up, up front again I am not an affiliate of Medela I did purchase this pump myself so this is Dr. Diana here until and you can find it on my Amazon storefront so this is Dr. Diana here until next time with Pump with Purpose.